going to quickly teach you about using the nonlinear flare deformer in Maya to add stylization to your models. First thing, you need to make sure your model has enough subdivisions to be able to deform correctly. Then you are going to select your group or your objects, go up to deform, nonlinear, and hit flare. This is going to create a flare handle and you can see it visually in the viewport, it's in your outliner. If we go to the attribute editor, we can find the deformer's attributes. The start flare and end flare in X and Z allow you to push and pull and adjust the shape of your object. And you can just play around with these and how you want them to work. You then have a curve which allows you to do curves both convex and concave. The low and high bound adjusts where these circles sit and the curve happens in between them so you can create a tighter curve if you want to. The envelope adjusts the overall strength so you can turn the deformer off or bring it back on. You can also physically move the deformer itself to adjust what is happening to your model. When you're happy with the final shape, you could grab your object, delete the history, that will then delete the flare handle and leave your model looking like it is now. Or what I like to do is I like to duplicate and then I can just hide the one that's linked to the flare handle and I now have a version of my model that's final that I can render and I can always come back and readjust my model with the flare handle at a later time and I have two versions of it.